terribly busy. What is it? Jeb has been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a popper. Oh, my goodness. Why? But she was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh, my. That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry. He's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc. He's sort of his own law there. Well, I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, see if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. But you never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great. I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. He does love to be in the papers and write on it. I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly laid out a convincing argument. Are you saying I hit him too hard? I don't know. Is he breathing? Well, he made a sort of sigh. And then some gurgling noises? He came right at me. Just make sure you leave that electro baton near. In case it turns out to be important. I've learned so much from you over the years. Lovely day for it. All right. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger all. I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of... Um... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory?
I'm sure the workers here will have the same respect for a press boss as the Bobbies did. the closing doors, please. Please stand by for decontamination. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Safety. Oh, oh, please don't make a fuss.
they both? I feel so chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam. If that is indeed what I did. sneak past these gents without a fuss. <coughs> Happiness is a choice. to each other. I guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drove the subject insane. Oh, Lord. That big red button. I wonder what it opens. <laughs> I feel rather brilliant right now. Time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally, 
And it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? Christ, Sally was in on the scheme. No. What? She's being very nice about it, but she's not at all on board, is she? Hmm. The salamander seems to think Bullock's solution is a tad rash. Well, it's alarming, given what she considers reasonably cautious. Dr. Burlock is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir. But there's a fellow here who says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. D of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Burlock would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. Right, that's practice. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. The Lord judgeth me, and he is angry every day. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Sorry. done on the latest isomer. Now, where is it? Why is it not in the new mountain? Do any of you want to keep your jobs? I'll have you all replaced by Mrs. Pankhurst's bridge club. I'll do a better job than you people. <gasps> this won't take a minute. Oh. Technology. Is that supposed to be ironic? Is that an original? I 
I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat. <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly. But they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted. This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. He's just the sort who would. Hello. I'm in a haunted house movie. Sally's ridiculous cod liver oil. I'd better be down here, or I shall be cross. Listen, Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know? She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? The king of eggs! The king of eggs! The king of eggs! Don't laugh, Arthur. Don't laugh. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. This doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on in this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. That smells awful. This is where they flush the chemicals. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. I think I'm not pausing in the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. Flushed. 